uh, wiki car suspension test. Uh, we see that right now, the way the car is adjusted, we have exactly four inches of ground clearance in the front. Now, this is without driver weight, so actually we need to stiffen these springs. In the rear, we see we have uh, three and a half inches of ground clearance. So these springs need to be uh, have their perch height adjusted, actually, uh, although the spring stiffness is actually correctly calibrated. Um, we see with the uh, aluminum lower A-arms and milled strut tops, we um, have, uh, have no problem supporting the engine bay. We'll be drop testing it to measure uh, 2, 3, and 4G spring compression to see if uh, we have proper correlation with our simulations uh, right after right after we have the static ride height set. Um, here we have uh, camber settings. Right now they're at full negative um, to give us a a baseline that we're able to achieve the the envelope of suspension geometries we're interested in. Um, we also have adjustable caster we're set at 7 degrees all the way around, which actually seems to be about right uh, for, uh, for initial setting. It's, um, it's set similar to uh, camber. Toe is, um, is able to be set independently for all four wheels. Um, and uh, we're able to go um, plus minus ridiculous numbers of degrees of tow, actually camber and caster, so we, we really have the world is our oyster, each corner is completely independently settable. And we also have independent ride height adjust, which we're about to adjust at all four corners. Um, we have uh, valving for spring rebound adjustment, of course, that's, that's brought to us by Skunk 2, their Pro C, Pro -C series of shocks, which um, were so well engineered, we uh, used them almost completely stuck off the shelf. Now, we, we did have some custom, uh, uh, some custom work, and we're, we're not using uh, the springs that they normally set with that kit because our car is much lighter than any of the vehicles they, um, they, they uh, have the kit configured for online. But, um, so we have our baseline settings showing that we need to adjust ride height up uh, in the rear and a little more in the front too. Uh, with our perch adjustments and uh, now we're going to dial it back to uh, the uh, camber caster and toe settings that we have spec'd for our for our track event.